You are based in Washington. I this am. is something you've been following a lot, which is the uh, sort of the refusal by Republicans to meet with President Obama's nominee for the vacant Supreme Court seat. Yes, Merrick Garland, who is the chief judge of the D.C. Court of Appeals, um, he has been trying, he's been knocking on doors on Capitol Hill, going from one like, door to literally. the next, literally going door to door uh, up at the Capitol, knocking on Senate doors, trying to get meetings. He's met with a handful of Democratic senators and maybe about three Republicans. Right. And these are folks who are either up for re-election or they think the process should continue on. And so um, it's been an ongoing fight on Capitol People Hill. just don't get this, like why they won't meet with him. Right, and there's a okay. large percentage of Americans who believe that the president's pick should get a hearing um, right. this election year. Yeah, but, but that's not what's happening. That's not. Surprisingly. How about we bring in someone who knows a lot more about this than both of us? Uh, we can go now to Arlette Signs, who joins us from the White House North Lawn down in Washington, D.C. Hey, Arlette, how's it going? Hey, Arlette. It's going well. How are you guys? Good, good. So bring us up to speed. What's the latest in the uh, nomination process that's not happening? So President Obama is going to hit the road today to make his sales pitch for his Supreme Court nominee, Merrick Garland. He's going to put on his professor hat. He's actually going to the University of Chicago, where he taught constitutional law for over a decade. He's expected there to meet with students and teachers and talk with them about the confirmation process and urge the Senate to go ahead and confirm uh, uh, Merrick Garland to the Supreme Court. Uh, this is going to be the president's first on-the-road push, and it comes three weeks after he nominated Garland to the position. But so so far, Republicans are holding firm in their opposition, many of them to meet with him, but ultimately they don't want to hold hearings or even a vote on his confirmation. Arlette, with there being so much tension right now on Capitol Hill in Washington when it comes to Merrick Garland and this nomination process and confirmation hearings, I mean, what does the president hope to achieve by going to, uh, you know, the place where he used to work, um, his hometown, Merrick Garland's hometown? What does he hope to achieve by going there and speaking to those students? Well, this is going to be his first public push since he nominated Garland, and he just wants to continue to not only push the Senate, but also push the public. As you mentioned, uh, many of the public, uh, the majority of them want uh, the Senate to go ahead and hold hearings on Garland's nomination, and the president's hoping that the public will be able to help motivate senators to go ahead and meet with him and also hold those hearings and potentially vote in the coming weeks and months. Arla, here's the question, though. Why now? I mean, he could have, you know, he brought him out, President Obama brought out uh, Judge Garland, introduced him, kind of made his case. So why make a public ploy now? Well, so far, most of the work here at the White House has been going on the scene, behind the scenes. It's very subtle. The White House has been meeting with congressional uh, staffers and also conducting outreach to those lawmakers. But the president also wants to make his own push. Right after the nomination, he uh, did a few interviews, but we've, he's really relatively been quiet since then. And now is going to be his opportunity to go ahead and speak to the American people, trying to urge them to urge their senators uh, to hold these hearings. Arlette, you mentioned the behind-the-scenes work that's being done. White House Senior Advisor Brian Deese just said last week that uh, they're hearing from more and more Republican senators who possibly want to meet with Merrick Garland, who uh, are even possibly even for having a hearing. So what are we hearing more about that? Because we know that meetings don't exactly mean an actual confirmation hearing or even a vote. That's right. So far, Merrick Garland has sat down with three Republican senators, Says Senator Susan Collins of Maine, uh, Mark Kirk of Illinois, and John Bozeman of Arkansas. Kirk and Collins are those two senators who are calling for the process to move forward. They want hearings to be held. Next week, Garland is going to sit down with five Republicans. The most noteworthy is Senator Chuck Grassley. He's the Senate, uh, Senate chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He is going to have him over for breakfast on Tuesday. Now, Grassley says this is just a courtesy visit, he still remains staunchly opposed to holding any hearings. But even the fact that he's meeting with him is, a, is one gesture that the White House is hoping could maybe translate uh, to hearings eventually. Two other people that, the, uh, that Merrick Garland will be meeting with next week are Senator Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire and Senator Rob Portman of Ohio. Those are two interesting senators to watch because they're from swing states and they're facing tough re-election battles this coming November. Uh, so th the White House is hoping that maybe uh, some of their constituents might be pushing those swing state senators to uh, consider holding a hearing for Garland. Well, Arlette, Kenneth and I were talking earlier about some of the recent polls that showed most Americans actually want the process to move forward. So is there any sense that any elected official there is actually listening to what the American public are saying they want? They want this process to move ahead? 
Well, despite this polling, Senate leadership remains firm in their commitment not to hold any hearings or even a vote on Mer uh, Merrick Garland's confirmation. Just yesterday, uh, Senator, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell repeated this promise, saying that he doesn't want to hold the hearings. So we'll have to see if there is going to be any influence from the public or constituents in the coming months, especially in this tough uh, re-election battle. What, what many Democrats also point to is the October, uh, the, the start of the Supreme Court session again in October. That's just one week, one month away from Election Day. So there's a good chance that if uh, Merrick Garland isn't confirmed by then, uh, you'll have only eight Supreme Court justices, which is a stark visual uh, heading into the elections and, and could uh, push and, and make uh, some senators maybe reconsider. All right, Arlette signs there on the North Lawn of the White House where talking about the Supreme Court, the push to get Merrick Garland, the nominee, a hearing. Arlette, thank you so much. The president is on a farewell tour right now. He is, and that speech that uh, Arlette mentioned is going to be live streamed right here at 3.30 this afternoon. So if you want to watch that live, come back at 3.30.